I like playing in the subway because it exposes me to the general population, the general public. I get to interact with people of all different walks of life, all different races, ethnicities. Developed my entire style in the subway. Started playing in the subway in 2010. Uh, me and this violinist, uh, street violinist, got hired to play a wedding gig. And uh, he brought me out so we could rehearse a little bit. But the subway is such a great environment to play the cello because the, the sounds just bounce off the walls and you know when you when it's quiet when the train is not going by and you have like a good amount of time you can really like uh, hear the sound just echoing and it's really beautiful. So I started improvising to begin with to kind of like adjust to the, the environment that's always like in flux you know what I'm saying like I'm sitting still but everything else around me is moving. kind of like follow my music and like go where my where my instrument takes me. Everywhere that I go, I bring my instrument with me and I play music in like a new environment just to see what's going to come out of it. You know, I'm really influenced by the by the environment that I'm in. And because I improvise, you know, I sort of feed off the energy of the different areas. Yeah, I really like to play like in a beautiful location, you know, because when I play above, above ground and not in the subway, you know, I oftentimes will look for like a really beautiful place to play because I feel like my music kind of accents that or is accented by it. So, you know, like I consider myself an artist and I just want to create something beautiful. When I hear the waves crashing, you know, it makes me want to play a little bit slower so I can hear the waves. play the cello I feel really empowered. It's like a really deep meditation. All my attention is focused just on like those strings and like and my fingers. And I can hear what's happening around me but I can't really like speak. I'm still fully conscious you know I can hear everything that's happening around me. I play so much that I've just developed this relationship with my cello that's really intuitive and really in tuned and kind of like fluid and it's almost an extension of myself. The moment that I play is just like a step in like in the creative process that is like the greater like whole of my music. necessarily practice at home too much. I've mainly, mainly my practice is in the subway. And my practice, I don't practice, I just perform. Through that, like, that style of just constant performance, I'm able to perform at any moment, you know, like, anytime I touch, I pick up my cello, I'm ready to perform. I started uh, improvising, and I just, like, started feeding off that energy and creating my own style, and I felt way more, uh, like, expressive. I felt like my technique was improving so rapidly when I was just experimenting. And I'm, always, I'm always getting better, I'm always developing new tunes and new styles and techniques and my thing's always changing, you know, so I'm constantly like 
excited and engaged in like my creative process. I think that if you start doing like what you're supposed to be doing, then a lot of good things are going to start happening. So you know, a lot of good things start happening when I started pursuing my music. So you know, it kind of like inspired me to to just stick with it. I guess my main goal is just to master the cello and keep on like challenging myself and creating you know new pathways with like my artwork. Uh, you know, I'm not getting rich, but I'm I feel free, man. You know, I can do whatever I want. And uh, you know, I work hard and I just pursue my goals and you know, it's like the American dream.